how to get your offline store online. Hi, my name is Chetna Engel. For the last three years, I'm running my own online business from the comfort of my home, selling services and uh, whatever is in my mind. Um, and in this YouTube channel, I help you do the same if you have any um, ideas that you want to go online and start your online business, then this channel can help you. So do subscribe and put it in your comment section if you have any questions for me that I can answer uh, so that I can make videos on that. So um, how do you take your offline store online? When you have an offline store, only physically located, low, closely located people can visit your store. So that lim limits the number of people who can visit your store, right? Because your store is, you know, has some physical limitation and then only people around it will come to your store. But what if you take, you keep your inventory in your store as it is, but you take your store online and you start selling your products online. Now, um, this is what happened in the morning. I went and I, I got this, uh, you know, cotton kurta from, um, from a local store here. And uh, it's so comfortable, it feels so good that I wanted more of it, but I couldn't find more of it. So I went and I searched online for fabrics because, because I didn't want to buy something that would surprise me and wouldn't fit so well as this one is fitting. So if I can change the fabric and get my tailor to stitch uh, similar kurtas for me, um, you know, it's very cheap and I get to do that. Uh, I think that would be best. So I went online and I searched for fabrics to buy online. Okay, just went to Google and type fabrics to buy, you know, buy fabric online. And I came across this really simple, yet uh, very beautifully uh, done website uh, from where I ordered my fabric. I want to show you that because, uh, because when people think about going online, they think about it like as a big project, you know, where you have to spend lakhs and lakhs of rupees into it. And then eventually something gets ready, but no sales happen. Uh, whereas in this store, it's a very, very simple store, but because it popped up right at the top of the search results, I'm guessing that they've done quite a bit of SEO work. Plus they have some good customers that keep coming back to the site again and again, which helps the website to come up in the Google search results. So uh, if I have to show you that website, it's, uh, let's share my screen. Okay, so it's fabric, uh, fabriclore.com. Okay, it's fabriclore.com, and you can look for fabrics over here. There are different kinds of fabrics here. So, so my point is that people try to build a mall in a website, you know, and a mall means, uh, you know, there are tons of products and tons of categories and tons of this and that. And, you know, you confuse the buyer. Now, I'm not talking about Amazon because Amazon has also started from books and from books it started adding more and more categories. So as the traffic grew, it, it grew itself. But as far as uh, you know, your products are concerned, you don't want to become the next Amazon, you want to become the next you, right? So if somebody has a fabric store, if somebody has a jewelry store, if somebody has a, you know, a crochet store, you know, uh, the same things, but in different variety. Then also you can go for an online store. Now let me show you, you know, the fabrics that they have. Okay, let me get rid of this. So when I went and I looked for fabrics, you know, you see how simple it is, like viscose fabric, and then all the viscose fabrics start showing up here. And everything is only fabric, you know, and all I have to do is click on the add cap, cart button, just add like, you know, meters that I want to order and just go view card. And it's very simple, clean, and there are frameworks for you to do, help you to do that. You know, developers should be using frameworks instead of coding something of their own because frameworks have a lot of those functionalities and features like user accounts, customer accounts, uh, you know, add to card functionality, checkout, payment gateway integration, and stuff like that. So when somebody uses a framework, it's very cheap to get a, uh, uh, e-commerce website up and going within a month or less than that, okay? Um, but but look at the simplicity of this, okay? I just checked out, I purchased, and I was impressed, you know, it's got all kinds of fabrics, uh, and then some, you know, 
dye fabrics, everything fabric. So within fabric also, you know, this is what micro niche is that not only do you have a store, but you have a store that's very micro niche. If I am looking for any kind of fabric in the world, I would just come to this website again and I would buy from here. And there are so many Indian stores who are very, very micro niche. All they need to do is have a website ready within a month, not spend more than 50,000, 70,000, uh, get all your products on it and start selling. You know, keep it light, keep it simple, don't have too many plugins on it. Um, you know, that's about it. So I had a very good experience with this um, micro niche web store. Um, you know, it's not selling kurtas, it's not selling pouches or purses or anything, or maybe it is, I just haven't checked, but um, but but the uh, fabric part is very clearly evident that, you know, um, that they're good in fabric and they have tons of different fabrics on it. So just wanted to share and, you know, tell you that, you can retain your micro niche when you come online and just you know take your offline store just as it is put it online get the sales rolling and the another best part was that within a uh, within like two hours i got a shipping notification from them uh, saying that oh my address is showing here so i got a shipping notification and it said that your order is shipped you know so how good and how simple it is, you know, uh, to just operate, just take your offline mind and use it in your online domain. That's it.